What's up guys? Just got me another Snowdy update here. As you can see, this is the model Benchmade Model 420. This is the resistor. It's a pretty dang nice knife. Um it it's actually the first access lock I've had in a in a long, long time. Um and as you all know, I'm not really fond of the access lock. It's it's a good lock. It's I mean, play there's no play, very solid, but it's just I don't tr I don't like to trust a lock a lock on a knife to a spring, a little tiny spring about the width of like a paper clip that could snap at any moment. And also, if you can tell, look how much, it doesn't really cover enough of the of the tang of the blade. See where it snaps in there? It barely covers it. I don't see why Benchman doesn't make them to where they they go all the way up, all the way up to almost the stop pin. That would be a lot safer, because see, look, barely, barely covers enough of the tang, so, I, I don't get that, that's just another reason why I don't like the access lock, but, I did get this for a hell of a deal, um, I got this off eBay from a guy who uh, just bought it about a year or two ago, never used it, an older gentleman, and he said he wanted to get rid of it because he just didn't like it. Um, he was more of a traditional knife guy. He liked his case, his, you know, his slip joints. And this was just too big, too modern for him. So he was giving it away at a steal of a price. I did get this knife for $95. Plus $5 shipping. So it's like $100. Um, MSR, well, when they were being sold, they were about $150. And they, they sell for about that now, if not more. So I, I considered myself lucky. I went ahead and got it just because it was another snooty knife, and I've been actually been wanting to try this one out, but it was that axis lock that was keeping me down. It's a great, great knife. Um, you have uh, kind of like bee blasted aluminum scales. It looks like titanium, but it's not. It's really beautiful, uh, thick, very thick. Check that out. Uh, bee blasted aluminum scales with a G10 overlay. Very reminiscent of the. Um, the Torrents are the Deja Vu. Very nice G10. And, um... It's got a 154cm blade. Very, very razor sharp. Snowy. It's got, they call this a Gotham Swedge. Very, very cool knife. Very, very cool Swedge. It's called the Gotham Swedge. It's very reminiscent of the, uh... Snowy um, de design, Benchmade tactical. Cut the only difference is the switch. Very similar though. It's got a bat. Let's see here. Bear with me. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Let's see here. It's got a roughly a three and a half inch blade. Overall is eight inches. So it's a decent sized knife. Let's see here. Comparisons here. Delico. And an Enduro. So it's about the size of an Enduro. The Enduro is about a quarter of an inch longer. So it's a nice size blade. It's not too big, not too small. It's actually a perfect size. And you've got a thumb ramp here with jimping so you can choke up so it doesn't feel like it's too big. It's a really thick knife though. I mean look at those scales compared to like an Enduro. Very, very thick knife. It's a strider. It's a little bit thicker than a strider. Very thick. It fills the hands real nice. I mean, you, you know this is in your hands. It's a good knife. It's got some jimping down there. Real textured. And it's not going anywhere. One moment, please. Excuse me. It's got a nice lanyard hole there. If you want to see a good video on the inner workings of this particular knife, uh, Jeff at Cutlery Lover actually does a video where he takes us apart and shows the access lock. 
And it just so happens that it's this knife, so if you want to see the inside of this knife, you know, check his video out. Real good knife. It's 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 lightweight. Well, it's it's semi lightweight. I think it weighs about four, a little bit maybe four ounces. Good good knife though, man. I actually like it. Of course, I'm not a fan of the uh, axis lock. If it if it was like a liner lock or a, a frame lock, it would be awesome. Those thick ass scales with a frame lock would be amazing. But overall, it's a cool knife, man. You got a deep pocket carry clip, so it it totally hides in your pocket. And I like how it's kind of skeletonized there, so it disappears even more. You know, it's kind of like the uh, Spyderco wire clip, where it just, you can't really, you don't notice it because it's just like, you know, two two little lines here, so it's it kind of disappears in your pocket. Double thumb studs, volcano thumb studs. Really, really cool knife. Of course, the axis lock is super smooth that's one thing about the axis lock is it's super duper smooth but it's just it doesn't it doesn't hold enough of that tang just I don't know I just I'm not a fan of the axis lock this knife will probably get some carry just for the hell of it but I don't know I just not I don't like the axis lock but I couldn't pass it up because it's a beautiful beautiful knife it's a snowy design and it's just great materials beautiful design. I mean, Benchmade, for all I do say about them, I don't have any anything bad to say about their their quality control, their fit and finish, or their designs. It's just really their ethics I don't like, but we're not going to get into that. But this knife is just beautiful. Perfect fit and finish. So, that's the Snowdy Design, Benchmade 420, <laughs> for all you heads out there. Resistor. There's a strider. It's about the size of a strider closed. Actually, it's about the exact size of a strider. Exact size. So, alright, y'all. That's the 420. And that's all I gotta say. Y'all take care now, be safe, stay sharp. All right now.